hi guys, I've been working on this thing called cognitive drawing for, well, since 2016. I believe that was when I first tried it out and assembled some worksheets for a class, a little class of about 10 people. Tried it out on them and I said, this is the way I think people need to learn how to draw, especially if they want to teach themselves how to draw, because this is how I did it. But I just don't know if it's going to work for other people. I don't know if it's just the way my brain works. Well, I tried it on these 10 people in a little free class and they were all blown away. I mean, there was some re there was amazing results and it made me super excited about this whole idea of cognitive drawing and how to actually teach drawing to people of, of various ages and, and abilities. You can see some of the results of that class right here. That face from memory after never drawing manga before. And this is our reference here. This muscle man arm, first one from memory, second one, third one, which is a big improvement over that. And this is the first one from memory, second one from memory, and third one from memory. It's a big improvement. How do you, do you feel like you um, improved a lot in that? So that was in June or July of 2016. Um, after that I realized, okay, well, there is kind of a formula here. And I don't know why it works so well for everybody, and I don't know why it hasn't been taught. But I'm going to try to develop this into a book where someone can learn the anatomy, because that's kind of one of the hardest things to learn. This was the technique I used to really get my anatomy down, and as well as learn other people's styles of, of art, learning how to draw like Todd McFarlane or Eric Larson or whatever. You know, shortly after that class, I had this idea like, okay, well, I'm going to make this this book and it'll be like a, an 80 page book. You know, you can do cognitive drawing with all the different parts of the body at different angles. And if people just go through this book, then they'll have it memorized, you know, and it, it will be easy to move on from there. And so I asked for some beta testers online. I ended up with 100 beta testers. I sent them this 40 page book just focusing on the upper male body and it was using my my drawings as the reference. I just said, hey, can you guys do this for 30 days? You know, commit to it, do it every day, half an hour a day, and then just answer my questions once it's all done and, and scan your results and just show me that it's working or not working. And so at the end of that whole beta test period, again, it's it totally surprised me with how well it worked for a huge group of people. The percentage was really big that it worked for. But I also got a whole pile of feedback of things that weren't working and things that could be improved. And one of them was getting a model and having actual pictures from a model that are a little bit more precise, not so stylized to my kind of drawing, as well as all kinds of things like, like having tutorials, making it kind of like a Scott McCloud comic book where it describes it in comic form and then gives you the exercise. A lot more candy along with the, the cognitive exercises. And so I was like, wow, that's a lot of work. But I started looking into models. I started looking into how to redo this this whole book to where it could really be a, a tool for artists. I launched a Kickstarter because I thought, okay, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting real close to, to figuring this all out. And about 20 or 30 pages done and I launched a Kickstarter. I'd like to present the first cognitive drawing workbook. Looking back, I admit, wow, it was way too early to launch that Kickstarter. And it was about halfway through that Kickstarter that I realized that I still needed to develop this book more. It wasn't ready to, to be printed yet. I needed to refine it. The model I had that I took pictures of, it just wasn't working the way I wanted. You know, it wasn't the right model for all the poses. I, I canceled the Kickstarter right in the middle of it. And we were on track to make the full funding and it would have paid me an extra three months of living expenses to finish it. But um, I honestly don't think I would have gotten it done in three months. So so, so time passed. I, I realized I have this beta version of it. So I, I'll just put it on Gumroad and let people download it for 10 bucks or 15 bucks, whatever. There was a point where I was 12. I've slowly increased the price as I've added to it. And I just said, download it and try it out and see if you guys like it. If you do, you know, let me know, share it with people. And well, it's gotten over 1,300 downloads. The, the, ra the rating on it is five stars. People, people really, really like it. So I just kept really slowly updating it. You know, every six months or so, I'd add something else to it. Uh, sometimes I would spend a little time working on it a little bit more and add a bigger bulk of, of stuff to, to the package of cognitive drawing. I ended up finding a bodybuilder who won first place in a bodybuilding competition for his age and rank here locally. And the day after his competition, he came over 
and we took a bunch of photographs of him, hundreds of photographs. And I, I, a friend of mine is a professional photographer. She helped me take all these good pictures, so they're high res. We got all the angles we needed to complete everything we needed in the book. And so we had this great muscly bodybuilder as a reference now. Things were going well, making more progress, but it also made me realize that there's a lot more work that needs to be done on this thing before I can release it as a finished product. So beginning of this year, I was like, you know what? I am so close, uh, and I finished out the book, finished out the tutorials, everything, and it ended up being 160 pages. As I was working on it, that's when all the virus started happening. So it really kind of threw a monkey wrench in my plan of when I would launch it. But as I've been working on this, you know, I've I've taken it to charter schools. In fact, I have a video of me taking it to a charter school. It was used for two semesters in the charter school and they had loved the results of it and the kids are still asking for it. It's been in homeschooling groups. The kids loved it. I haven't assembled a video about that yet, but I do have video footage of that. And so, and I was invited to a homeschooler conference, which is later this year. And I was like, you know what? This year is the year I'm going to finish cognitive drawing and I'm going to focus on it right now. And I'm going to get this thing done and I'm going to launch a campaign for it before I start my next graphic novel. So I started working on it and then, you know, all the craziness happened with the virus and all that stuff. And so everyone was locked at home. We're, we're being forced to do homeschooling now uh, because of that. And it just made me realize instead of instead of being afraid that this thing isn't going to work now because of the climate of the world, everyone's in a place where they're practically being forced to homeschool now. So not only is it the perfect timing for something like this, because it's really about giving parents and teachers the ability to hand a student all the tools they need to teach themselves how to draw. And the only thing that is really helpful is the accountability. A teacher saying, okay, do the next page now, you know, for those students that aren't motivated to to follow through with it. Maybe there's a little bit of fear in the market. Maybe there's fear with job stability and all that stuff. There's always going to be problems in the world. There's always going to be calamities and disasters and and everything. I can't let that fear stop me from, from releasing this thing that's incredibly cheap that I think a lot of people are going to benefit from. Not only that, I, I think it's something that if people would, would have right now, it would allow them to spend three months working on this thing. Uh, since they're stuck in their homes, they could improve their drawing and their anatomy by leaps and bounds. You know, even if they can't go to a drawing club and a drawing group or a school or a college, they can still do it. And that's what's exciting about this right now is it's been built kind of for the purpose of what's happening right now. It's perfect for people who are stuck at home. It's perfect for people who are out in the middle of nowhere that can't have access to the best colleges and places. I mean, yeah, sure, everyone can go online and take a class, but, you know, what about the people who can't afford that and don't have that kind of internet bandwidth and don't have that kind of money to take an online class by the right teacher and stuff like that? I didn't have that, and this is how I taught myself how to draw. So anyway, this all boils down to this morning where I launched the new Cognitive Drawing Kickstarter, and I am so proud of this book I am so excited to get it the physical book into people's hands. It has flaps that fold over to cover pages when you're using when you need to cover up the reference. It's designed for the purpose of doing cognitive drawing. And it's 25 bucks. It's just super cheap for 90 days of lessons. The response of people who've used it is overwhelmingly positive. And so I just want to say give it a try. If it's something you if you want to learn how to draw. If you um, are frustrated with trying to figure out how to learn how to draw and where to start, give it a shot. It's, it's 25 bucks. There's a higher tier where I actually go through every single day and I'll record a video. It will be about a 10 to 15 minute video per day of me doing the exercises with you guys. Talk through it all and show how I'm thinking about it and add any extras you might not get out of the book. It's such a huge value for what it is you're getting. And I guarantee you if, you, if you go through this whole book, you will improve by leaps and bounds. If you go through this whole book, I mean, that's just, that's just really the test. Can you go through the whole book? Can you take the 90 day cognitive drawing challenge? I guess is the question. I believe anyone can learn how to draw if they have, if they use this technique, anyone can learn. It's such an easy technique. It's just not taught. I saw one guy online who kind of taught something similar, but it wasn't ever made into a lesson. It was just a blog post, you know? But um, I've never seen anyone teach it this way. And I, I really honestly think this is the method 
that schools should adopt. I think this is the method that homeschoolers and educators should use and refer to because it's so successful as far as being able to learn to draw something and be able to memorize how to draw and not not just have to copy from reference and all that stuff. There's, there's jobs where you have to just trace and there's jobs where you have to copy. But if for those of you who want to really memorize how to draw things, have it in your brain so you can just recall it and boom and, and draw whatever you want, this is the way to do it. I, I believe this is how I taught myself how to do it. So anyway, Cognitive Drawing is now on Kickstarter. It's launched. As of recording this video, there's some there's still some early bird tiers. Uh, you can get higher tiers where you have a digital version along with the book. You have you can have the 90 days of lessons in video format with the book if you want. There's also homeschooler packs and uh, school packs and even school visits for bulk amounts of copies of this of this book. Once this campaign is over and we have it all shipped out, we are going to really focus on homeschoolers and certain school curriculums trying to get it in because we've had such good success with it. So anyway, I just want to encourage you guys to check it out. If you expect to be stuck at home a lot longer, check it out. You can even get the digital version of it in the campaign, the book plus the PDF, so you could print it out right away and start working on it right away um, if you don't want to wait for the book. The book will come in like July is, is when we're uh, expecting it to be uh, in hand so, so that it can be used next year during school. It's been a long journey, a long road to get it to this place, but I'm incredibly proud of this book. I'm super excited to see what you guys will do with it, and I'm really excited to see what will happen in the future. For those of you who keep asking, yes, there will be a female version. Um, that will be the next one that I'll work on and to, I'll try to finish. I don't have a time frame on it at all. I haven't started it but um, we'll use the same blueprint for the male version, but for the female version. And so it won't take near as long to complete. Hopefully within a year or two, that one will be ready and we'll launch that one as well. Uh, maybe six months if this campaign is really, really successful. All right, guys, I'll give you an update on other things uh, later and I'll talk to you soon. I wanna help all aspiring artists become the artist of their dreams. Hi. I'm artist Jason Brubaker, and Cognitive Drawing is a learn-to-draw workbook unlike anything you've ever seen. This workbook solved a difficult problem. How can artists learn to draw anything quickly without spending a fortune? I've spent three years developing this workbook to accomplish that goal, and I'm excited to finally share it with all of you. I grew up in a small town. I had no more than high school education, but I was determined to teach myself how to draw. Well, it worked. And at the age of 21, I was represented by a top storyboarding agency in Hollywood as their fastest artist. And I worked in Hollywood for the next 20 years on hundreds of projects with all the top studios, as well as my own comics and graphic novels. One of the questions I get asked over and over is, how did I get my artwork to this professional level without an expensive art education? Cognitive drawing, of course. Although I wasn't aware of it at the time, when I was a kid, I accidentally discovered this method that I would later learn is called the testing effect. Studies have shown that the testing effect is one of the most efficient ways your brain retains new long-term information. And this book was developed using these same scientific principles. Cognitive Drawing has had over a thousand beta testers, which have included homeschoolers, charter schools, high schools, and people who just wanted to expand on their college educations. Of those testers, 90% saw an immediate improvement in their drawing and retain what they learned. Over the course of 90 days, I'll be teaching you the techniques that made me the artist that I am. And with cognitive drawing, learning is as easy as sketch, test, and results. Pick up your copy and let's get started.
If you're wondering if it'll work for you, feel free to download the sample worksheets and try it out for yourself.